Hello and welcome to our first Ntiga Ezwa Global Podcast of the year 2022. I'm so excited to be back on your screens. And as usual, we have our special guest, our CEO, Mr. Eric Ntiga Ezwa Stole. Welcome, sir. Hey, welcome back. Uh, welcome back to 2022. It's another year of greatness again. Um, Mr. Stoller, before we get into um, the topic for today's podcast, I just want to ask you this question. There's a burning question on my mind. With everything that you're involved in, from being the CEO of NMC and Tiga Ezra Global as well, um, lecturing and being a part and serving on various oversight committees, what is it that you want to achieve? Mm. Now, simple, just, just one answer. Yeah. I want to see what we call the advancement of humanity. Yes. That's what I want to see. Mm. Uh, everything that I'm doing, um, back in 2018, before we started Tigers with Lupa, mm. because we started with NMC back in 2014. Yeah. NMC was not operating back then, but I think around 2016, NMC started working. Mm. And then 2018, I said, let me start a leadership company yeah. that will have just this objective. Um, of liberating people from slavery mm. and that means they have to be developed yeah so that they can reach their full potential of course so wherever i am my end goal yeah is to see uh, human beings flourishing yes uh, where there's something we called in the scripture where there is a spirit of the lord there's what mm. there's liberty yes there's liberty there's liberty yes so i want to see everyone in South Africa, in Africa, and in the world. Mm. I want to see people liberated and reaching their full potential. Mm. So that's why, whether I'm in a board meeting, whether I'm in a risk meeting, whether I'm in a, uh, I'm the CEO, everything that I'm trying to do has to do with the development of a human being. Mm. I want to see people being developed and making sure that those people at the end of the day they are they realize who they are mm. and then they work towards achieving uh, the objectives of the goals of the, the the reason why they were born yes remember now we said people were born to do certain things but some of those people they don't discover yes. so i want to see people discovering themselves discovering mm. their purpose yes reaching their full potential yes. executing yes yeah that's that's what i want to see i want to be someone who makes sure that when i'm with you when i'm with you Isabella, when I'm gone, anyone can see that this is a product of Eric and Zegas. I want to leave a mark. Yes. And I can only do that by advancing, by developing human mm. beings. That's what I'm doing. Make sure you stay on for the duration of the entire podcast because what we are discussing today is stuff that is going to truly transform your mindset and potentially change your life. Now, Mr. Stolle, getting into our topic for today you know following our previous uh, previous podcast he spoke so profoundly about conviction and when you spoke about conviction a number of people reached out to us and were asking for you to to basically expand on on what you were talking about in conviction so we've had a number of people reaching out to us asking us if mr sole can expand on this thing that he spoke about, which is conviction. So, can you expand on that for us, Mr. Stoney, as we start off today's mm. podcast? Mm. No, thank you so much, Temba. And I said, welcome back to 2022. Uh, today, as you as, as are saying, people have been reaching out to me as well to say, hey, we, we like what you said about conviction. Yes. Um, can, can you explain this to, in, in layman's terms? Yeah. So, I, I want to simplify it today. First of all, Temba, what I need to explain is that number one leadership is action yeah leadership is an act yeah not a person mm. so when we say this is leadership we are talking about what you do mm. action yeah not an position yeah not a position or not a, a person. person yeah yeah so <clears throat> therefore a leader is someone who leaves leadership yeah these are two different things that you need to understand. Mm. Leadership is action, not a position, or leadership is an act, not a person. And a leader is someone who leaves leadership. Mm. 
Let's go back to what I said. I said leadership is an action. This is the action that must be motivated by what? Conviction. So this action that you're talking about must be motivated by what I call, ladies and gentlemen, conviction. Mm. So what is a conviction? According to my understanding, because I've read so many definitions, a conviction is a persuasion, a strong persuasion, yeah. or a belief that just consumes you, mm. engulfs you, mm. overwhelms you. Yeah. That does not give you peace. That does not give you rest. Mm. So it's like a judgment. If I may put it, it's, it's, it's a judgment which says you've been found guilty of this. It's a judgment mm. yeah. which is passed to you by the creator himself. Yeah. Or the creation. To a point that if you don't act, you will feel that you have betrayed the generations to come. Mm. You will have betrayed the company that you're working for. Mm. You will have betrayed your friends, your brothers or sisters if you did not act. Yeah. So that's conviction. Yeah. It, it does not give you rest. Mm. It's something that comes and say, you need to work on this. You need to fix this. This is the right thing to do. That's a conviction. Mm. Now, that's, the reason I said leadership is not a position yeah. is because one will say, but we've got so many people in positions. Of leadership. Of leadership. Yes. Mm. And we do, we do. And, 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 and those people that are holding those positions are not um, simply doing what we call leadership. Mm. What's the difference between them and leaders? Leaders are those who have a sense of conviction. Mm. <clears throat> Whereas someone can be in a leadership position and not be a leader. And how do you know that this one is not a leader? For instance, if you don't have conviction, I, I've, I've written so many posts about that. I said, if you don't have conviction as a leader, you can be tossed to back and forth by every kind mm. of a way. Mm. So today people will say, let's go left, you go left. Tomorrow they say, let's go right, you go right. Mm. The next day they will say, what you did is wrong. Apologize, you apologize. Oh, wow. <laughs> Even though you thought you were right. But I'm saying, if, if, if you are not a leader, yeah. and if you are not leading with a sense of conviction, you can be tossed to back and forth. Yes. And you can end up losing credibility as a human being. Mm. But what... You basically function, you function as a puppet in that case. That, that's a thing. Mm. That's a thing. So then I said, because what, for, for you to... I said leadership, I was taught that there are so many definitions of leadership, but what I know that leadership cannot be, can, can, you cannot define it uh, accurate sometimes and yes. say this is leadership, but when you see it, it's like beauty. When you see beauty, you know, wow, this is beauty. Mm. But you cannot define exactly what yes. is beauty. Yes. You know. So what people see as leadership sometimes becomes the very thing that frustrates them. Yes. And say, but if this is a leader, why then things are not moving? Why this person behaves in this manner if, mm. it, if this person is truly a leader? Mm. Then my answer is simple. If you lead with a sense of conviction, yeah. if you lead with a sense of conviction, even those that are supposed to follow you, even those that are supposed to submit under you, they feel strong, they feel safe, they feel protected yeah. that we are under leadership here. Mm. Because we know that if this person says, these are the marching orders, we are going this way. Mm. He won't come back tomorrow and say, no, no, uh, I'm sorry. In yeah. fact, we're not going that way. Mm. Um, we need to I've go different way. No, I've been told not to go. I've been told to withdraw. Mm. I've been told if I go, I will be killed. Therefore, let's abandon this course. Mm. That's not a leader. Mm. A leader is someone, and I said, a leader with a sense of conviction is someone who can make up his mind 
in the midst of uncertainty mm. and say, this is the direction that we must take. Yeah. No matter what happens, mm. we're going to take this direction. So that's a sense of conviction. That's the importance of the sense of conviction in leadership. Mm. If you don't have a sense of leadership, Samba, you will frustrate people. Mm. You will destroy people. Mm. Uh, if you don't have a sense of conviction. So if you have a sense of conviction, you, you don't stand in between cold and, 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 and hot. Mm. You become uh, what I call a one-minded human being. Mm. You become decisive. People can predict in your absentia. If something happens, they can predict that if Eric was here, this is what he would have done. Because we know his convictions. We know what he stands for. Mm. People who have got no, have got no convictions can, cannot stand for anything. They want to please everyone. Yeah. So that's not a leader with conviction. Mm. So that's the importance of, uh, of conviction, according to my understanding. And then uh, someone also said to me, can you equate um, leadership with conviction with a philosopher? Mm. Then I said, no, those two are not equal and, and are not the same. Yeah, that's true. A philosopher is someone who is an expert in a certain field who will just share with you wisdom. Mm. And, and, and the Greeks were known to be philosophers. Yes, definitely. Because they are the ones even who came up with what you call democracy. Mm. They invented democracy. So we know them as the greatest scholars, mm. philosophers. But a philosopher, or a, a, a philosopher is not a, a leader, according to my understanding. True. Because I can be a, a philosopher and stay here. And then when the time comes for me to act based on my thinking, mm. based on my wisdom, I refuse to act. Mm. Why am I refusing? Because I'm afraid that I might lose my life, I might lose my work, I might lose my job, I might lose my family. Yeah. But a leader, or leadership brings you more than philosophy. Leadership is someone who can make you think, mm. gives you wisdom, yeah. and say, let's put it in practice. Yeah. Let's act on this wisdom. Mm. That's leadership. Having convinced that this is the right thing to do. Mm. So to me, as people were asking, uh, can you equate a philosopher to leadership? No, we've got so many philosophers. Anyone can be a philosopher because anyone can breathe new knowledge. Many people can give us wisdom. Uh, they can share things that we didn't know uh, with us, enlighten us. Yeah. But leadership is something different. Mm. Leadership is action. Leadership gets things done. Mm. Leadership executes. Yes. So that's what you call leadership with conviction. Mm. So you execute knowing exactly that what you're about to do poses the highest risk in your life, but you've got no other choice. Mm. You have to do it because if you don't do it, no one else can accept you. That's what I call leadership with conviction. Mm. Yeah. Wow. You know, you mentioned a very profound point there. There are people, just to be clear, Mr. Stolle was saying there are people who occupy leadership positions but don't function as leaders. That's what Mr. Stolle was trying to drive across. Uh, beyond that, uh, Mr. Stolle, the biggest question that I have, as you've spoken so profound, profoundly about conviction, is how do you then know that the cause that you are convinced about is worth having the conviction for. How do you then know? Okay. Then let me start by saying, because others were asking me, how do I know that this is conviction? Mm. 
Mm. How do I know that this is now conviction? Mm. And I said, uh, it's, it's simple. It, it, there should be that particular belief or that persuasion that does not give you rest. Okay. That occupies you day and night. Mm. So you see something and your mind refuses uh, 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 to forget about it. Okay. It, your mind keeps on bringing it back and say, hey, Temba, that thing needs to be addressed. Mm. Or that particular thing needs to be fixed. Okay. Or that thing needs to be, to be attended. Mm. And here's the reason why it must be attended. Yeah. So, it's, as I said, it's like the judgment. Someone somewhere just judges you yeah. and say, you have to do this. Mm. And you try to ignore that. Mm -hmm. It keeps on coming back. It keeps on coming again, back now and again. Mm. And up until you reach to a point and say, enough is enough. If I don't do this, as I said, which means I am betraying the generations to come. Mm. If I don't do this, I will be betraying my family. I will be betraying my country mm. or my province. Yeah. If I don't do this, if I don't fix this, who else will? So that's a conviction. Um, as I said, as I said, it, it, it has to be something that first of all, when you do it, it advances humanity. Yes. That's, that's the measure. It, it must advance, advance humanity. humanity. It must liberate. So if, even if it liberates them in their minds, but it must be something that makes people feel liberated. Mm. It mustn't be something that has to do with them dying mm. or destroying them. Yeah. And I, I made yeah. an example uh, in my previous podcast and said, I said, you cannot tell me that this is conviction when you feel strongly about waking up and taking a gun to kill Usabe the Muslim. Mm. Can't be. That's not leadership. It can't be. It can't be. But it, it, it has to be something. Let's say in a community, there is no school. Mm. And this thing has been a problem for years. And it keeps bothering you now and again. Now, so you, you want to go to bed, this thing is here. Mm. And you look around, no one else is thinking like you do. Mm. So of course, that's conviction, which mm. means you are the one who must do it. Mm. That's what we call a conviction. Let's say uh, in, in a country, for instance, in South Africa right now, we are still struggling with what we call banks. We don't have banks which are owned by black people. Yes. So someone yes. somewhere is convinced that this thing is not right. Yeah. But they're still afraid to act on that. Yes. And say, if no one is starting this, I will start. Mm. I will be the first one to do it. Mm. Right? So I'm talking about those things. That conviction, Temba, is that particular thing. That particular idea, mm. that particular dream, that particular belief, that keeps on bothering you day and night. Mm. And you believe that if I don't do this, I will die. Mm. If I don't do this, I will be living a fake life. Mm. I will, I will, so that's what I'm talking about. That's conviction. For me, uh, how do I know that I'm convinced? As I said, once I don't get rest about something, even I try to do something like to, to, to distract the thought, mm. it keeps coming back. Then I entertain that thought mm. because I know it's taking me somewhere. Yeah. So everything that I'm doing today and the reason why I'm here today is because I had to entertain those thoughts that were not nice when they were bothering me mm. because they had some element of risk. Mm. But I had to entertain those thoughts up to a point I say, enough is enough. If people don't say this, I will say it. Yeah. If they don't rebuke this, I will rebuke this. Yes. If they don't attack this, I will attack. If mm -hmm. they don't fix this, I will fix it. Yeah. That's a conviction. Mr. Stolem, in one of our previous uh, conversations, one of our previous interactions, you spoke about faith and conviction. Those are one of, I would say, uh, one, two of the characteristics of a leader. So can you expand on your perspective on, on faith and conviction? Yeah, I'll, I'll just give two examples and say, okay, first of all, we know that faith is a substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not, not, not seen. seen. Yes. So faith usually says 
you have to stay positive. Yes. Things will be fine. Yes. That's faith. Stay positive. Believe that whatever that seems impossible will be realized. Yes. yes. That's faith. Yes. So faith, faith encourages you to proceed mm. in the midst of uncertainty. Proceed. Keep going. Things keep will pushing. be fine. Yes. And the reason why you keep pushing people is you know that there's a greater force behind you. Mm. The creator. Yes. That is, and that will ensure that you are protected. Yes. That's faith. Mm. Faith is the substance of things hopeful. hopeful. The evidence of things, things not seen. seen. I am believing that if I do this, God will protect me. Yes. That's faith. I do believe that things will be fine. Yes. That's faith. A leader needs that. But a conviction temper is something different. Mm. It's something different. The conviction says, as much as I know that no weapon formed against me shall, shall prosper, prosper, as much as I know that's faith, mm. but if it does prosper, I will still prosper. Yeah. That's a conviction. Mm. You see, if you look at uh, the story of the three uh, young men in Babylon, mm. Shadrach, Abednego, and Meshach. Meshach, yes, they said, "We know that God can save us." Yes, right? Yes, that's faith. But they also said something different. Mm. They said, "If He doesn't, yes." Yes. That's conviction. Yes. That's conviction. So I'm saying a leader needs to be someone who has a combination of both faith and, and conviction. conviction. Mm. So conviction, if, if you remember what Paul said, Paul did not say, I believe mm. that nothing can separate me from the love of God. Mm. He said what? I am convinced. Mm. Yes, he did. I am convinced. convinced. And then he started counting negative things. Because conviction comes when you see the negative side of your decision. That yeah. If I make this decision, there is a negative impact that might materialize. Yes. This decision carries a risk. This decision is a threat to even my own life. Mm. I can die because of the decision that I'm about to take. Mm. Or this action carries a threat to my family, carries a threat to my province, yeah. carries a threat to my company. I can be destroyed, but I will proceed. Yeah. That's conviction. Faith says, I have to do this because I am safe. I am protected. God is on my side. Mm. I will do it. I will do this. Let us do this. That's faith. Mm. But conviction says, what if he doesn't come out to protect us? Mm. You see? What if God doesn't protect us? Mm. Are we going to abandon this cause because God did not protect us? Then a leader with conviction will always say, even if he doesn't come up to protect me, I will still proceed mm. because I believe this is a right cause. Yeah. This is a cause which I must die for. Mm. A good example, a good example that uh, I want to share, if for instance, you remember what happened to, because I want to talk about what is in the scripture, but I also want to talk about what we saw in this country when Nelson Mandela said, I have cherished the idea eh, yeah. of a democratic and a free society mm -hmm. in which all persons live together in harmony and with equal opportunities. It is an ideal which I hope to live for and to achieve. Yeah. Okay, that's faith. That's faith talking there. But if needs be, now that's conviction. It's an ideal for which I am prepared, prepared to, to die. dive. Mm. You see, now he's saying, it's fine. I have faith that this ideal will be achieved. Yes. Well and good. We all need that. Mm. But what if this ideal cost you? your life. Mm. Will you still proceed with it? Will you still press on with it? Mm. And he said, yes. 
That is the sense of conviction that I'm talking about. And my question to him, how many people do we have in Africa, the, the ones that are in position of leadership, who can say such words or who can take decisions and stand by those decisions to yeah. a point of death? Yeah. Yeah. My brother, I worry a lot mm. when I look at the caliber of people we have in the leadership positions. Mm. I don't see them saying these things. If you look at Martin Luther King, because I'm trying to differentiate here faith and conviction. conviction. I'm saying we need both. He says this was the day before he was killed. Mm. This was the night before he was killed in the morning. This was the night before. So he said this word while his assassinator was already on his way. Mm. I'm sure the plan has already been finalized. Mm. That in the morning, when you see him, just shoot. Mm. And he was addressing some delegates. There was a protest, so he was yeah. addressing them. He says, like anybody, I would like to live a long life. Yes. But he said, but I am not concerned about that now. Hmm. That's conviction to say, this is my desire, this is my dream, Yes. this is my wish, mm. this is what I want to see. Mm. I want to see a beautiful country, I want to live a, a, a greater life, I want to live with my family, I want to be... That's faith. Mm. But what if it that happen. wish is not in the plans mm. of the one who created you? Will you still proceed? And he proceeded and he said, and, and, and this is what he, he left them with a message of faith. He said, I am not concerned about that now, this conviction speaking. He said, I just want to do God's will. Mm. Yeah. I just want to do God's will. And he has allowed me to go up to the mountain and I've looked over and I've seen the promised land. Yeah. Huh? I may not get there with you. Mm. That's a conviction. So the man knows that what I am doing here is a threat to the enemy. Yeah. The enemy will retaliate, definitely. Mm. So I need to prepare my people that listen, this is a journey now. This is what I saw, right? Yes. We, we, we shall overcome. Mm -hmm. We shall overcome. Yeah. But I may not get there with you. Mm. And he, he accepts the reality that, re that I may not get there with you. And he said, but I want you to know tonight that we as a people will get to the promised land. I am so happy tonight. I'm not worried about anything. I'm not fearing any man. Yes. And he said, my eyes have seen the glory of the coming of the Lord. Mm. This was the message combining both faith and conviction. So on the other hand, he is encouraging people that listen, even if I can die, proceed. Yeah. On the other hand, he is accepting that God may not save me this time around, but I will still proceed. Mm. That's what I call faith and, and conviction. conviction. And wow. the leader must have both. Mm. Faith and conviction. That's quite a mouthful, uh, Mr. Stolle. Uh, moving on, if you look at, uh, uh, rather, if you look into the challenges that are facing South Africa and Africa at large, taking into account what we have discussed about conviction, what do you see in our future? Um. So, as, as someone who believes, who has faith, as I said, mm. a leader needs both faith and conviction. I, I, I believe that at the end of the day, we shall overcome. Yes. There are so many challenges that are facing Africa and South Africa. Mm. And, and the major challenge is, is the issue um, of the fact that uh, we still see ourselves as second class citizens, especially yeah. black people. Yeah. And I, 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 I'm of the view, and I believe that the generation 
that has to liberate the Africans from that slavery colonized mindset mm. is the new generation of leaders that has both faith and, and conviction. conviction. What I see right now, sometimes I cry because I see men and women that cannot stand for anything. Mm. That's my worry. Mm. I looked, uh, I looked around. I still look around. Mm. I think, who, who's got qualities of a leader in our society right now? Mm. And I'm, 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 I'm a bit worried because I don't see the caliber of leaders mm. that we once had back in the sixties, back in the seventies. It's a concern that made me to start the Gazo Cleopat. And I said, maybe one can live something yeah. in this territory called Earth. Yeah. Maybe we can give birth to such leaders. But we need to not to talk about many things. Let's focus on a few qualities, mm. faith and conviction. Because all the leaders that they had these days did something. Yes. They delivered something to us. Mm -hmm. And we don't want to accept reality which comes with the decision that you're about to take. Mm. Why? Because we want to live a soft life. How many young people do you know mm. who are interested in politics? How many young people do you know who are worried about the things they see in Africa. Mm. Few. We are a generation that is worried or that is always interested in what you call entertainment. Yes, that's true. Soft life. Mm. It's not only us, this generation. Even our fathers and mothers, the, 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 the group that came before us. Yeah. And the one that is occupying currently the position of authority. Yeah. They don't care about the future. Mm. They only care about themselves. What is in for, for me? them? What is in for me first? Before we start talking about what you want to say or what you want to see in Africa. Mm. What is in for me? Someone said to me, hey, Job, you need to understand that as we are living, we must eat. Wow. <laughs> we <laughs> must eat. And I said, can you say that again? Said, I said, you need to understand that as we are living, even if I can be in a position, mm. everything now is about isisu, yeah. the stomach. Mm. And those words were said by someone who is in a position of authority. I got worried and I said, how many people who are in position of authority who are thinking like, like this? Like this person. Yeah, I said, how many? It's not only in South Africa, don't get me wrong. It's not only here. The, the Africa is a whole. Africa, this continent, mm. is suffering from a scarcity of leadership. Mm. We don't have people who can make decisions and stand by them. Mm. Each time they make decisions and you start uploading, mm. start getting excited. Mm. The next morning you hear they have withdrawn. Mm. Now, that's, that's what is me. You say, as long as we still have such people in position of authority, we are going nowhere mm. as Africa. You know, Temba, we've got leaders who are afraid of confronting just basic issues yeah. in Africa. Yeah. For instance, to say, we are one Africa, fine. But we need to behave in a certain manner. Yes. Certain things are good. Certain things are not good. Mm. Certain things are allowed. Certain things are not allowed. Yeah. And you explicitly expel them out. What is it that is not allowed in Africa? What is it that is allowed? So we want to be accepted everywhere. Mm. And I believe that if we have such people in position of authority, we are going nowhere. But there's hope. There's hope. There's hope that uh, there will be that generation. And we are the generation that will make an impact yes. in Africa. Mm. That will make sure 
that Africa becomes liberated from the mentality of colonization. Mm. Africa will be decolonized the mindset of a slavery. Mm. I, I believe this hope. I'm one of those people who will make it happen. Mm. And you know me, I've said it doesn't matter what costs me. Yes. I am convinced that we are not where we're supposed to be as Africa and South Africa. Mm. So we need to say, who is prepared to accept the reality of his or her conviction? Because conviction does not tell you about the positive side yeah. of your decision. Conviction tells you about the negative side. And then it asks you, are you still willing to proceed mm. with your decision? So we, we need to work out those people who are prepared to accept the reality of their convictions. And I believe those are people who will liberate Africa from the colonized mindset, from slavery, from mm. economic uh, slavery. I believe so. Mm. I believe so. Faith and conviction. conviction. That's what we need. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mr. Stolle. Um, to you, our loyal viewers of our YouTube channel and wherever you are watching this podcast from, thank you so much for staying through to the end of the video. This is where we wrap up our session today on conviction. You must be convinced. You must be convinced. I cannot stress that enough as Mr. Stolle has reiterated the point and he has mentioned moreover that for you to be a good leader, dare I say it, a great leader, you need to have the combination of faith and conviction. Thank you so much once again, Mr. Stolle. And hopefully, if you guys can just comment down below, what would you like us to speak about on our next podcast? We're going to have that one soon. As long as you guys just comment down below on what you would like us to talk about. And also, don't forget to like and follow our uh, social media platforms on Twitter, on Facebook, on Instagram. We are there and links will be provided down below. You can just click the link and follow us on those social media platforms. Thank you so much, Mr. Stolle, once again. And we will see you guys on the next podcast.